Okay, good morning. Welcome to your first day of summer school in the distance learning. And I know that was a challenge uh, this past spring. And I took what I learned as a teacher and hopefully my teaching this summer is even better than what I did uh, this spring with my students. And hopefully you've learned some things too to help you better perform in the distance learning. But the key thing is as soon as you struggle, you need to reach out to your teacher. You need to let your teacher know. We want you to pass and be successful, okay? So you, as soon as you struggle, you need to reach out. So I'm going to keep this video short, okay? It's the first day and I know you have a lot on your plate, but I wanna highlight a few things, okay? So let's go to the computer. All right, so in Google Classroom, we are going to click on Algebra 1R slash Math 9R to go into Classroom. And let's go to the Classwork section first. So I want you to really take the time and comb through, read through this very thoroughly, your course syllabus. Okay, it's only one page. The second page just highlights the units we will be covering in the weeks that are noted. So our first week is polynomials, our second week is linear expressions, equations, and inequalities, and it explains through what standards we're going to be covering. Quadratics, linear and quadratic functions, and then all of the other functions. Algebra is all about functions. And then week six is just going to be some review and time for you to make up work, just like you had during the school year. So we really only have five weeks, so it's really important that you work hard every day and stay on top of your studies and in communication with both Mr. Hart and myself. So, it, once you read through, okay, this just describes the course, when it runs, the structure, okay? So, this just highlights that everything as far as announcements, uh, reminders, just little messages, that's all going to be in the stream section but your course materials are going to be posted here in the classwork section. So Monday, July 6th is tomorrow, and you're going to click your agenda for the week, okay? Your agenda, so if we click on it, gives you a snapshot of the week in red, or when all your assessments are, so you have two quizzes and a test that week and it shows the standards we're covering. Here's your checklist, so you can print this if you like, so you can actually check off. And um, when Mr. Hart and I are both available for the day, okay? And we would like you, all student communication, to be through Google Hangouts. And you've already received a message from me, okay? So please use Google Hangouts for all your communication with us. Your parents, however, uh, if you'd like to, I'm going to click the course syllabus now. They can contact us via email. Okay, so our email addresses are there. So if they want to chat over the phone, have them send us an email when they're available, and we will give them a call. Okay, grading. You can look at the weights there. Okay, we'll have daily practice. You're going to get class participation points. So you're going to be responsible for checking in with us twice a week. That could be sending us a Google Hangouts message. Uh, we meet in a private session one-on-one, -on -one, okay, in Google Meet or Zoom, whatever platform we decide to use. Um, what else? You know, doing your homework is not going to count for participation. I want you to actually be communicating with us. The homework, or I didn't call it homework, everything I just call practice because you're going to be given some practice questions every day to help you prepare for the assessments. Practice, you have unlimited attempts, okay? So you're going to be given a section, and I'll go into Delta Math, which is the program we're going to be using momentarily. You'll have a certain number of questions to answer in each section, and you can keep doing that and even do more than you need to, okay, until you get the 100. Quizzes, okay, um, that's your final assessment for the, that day or two days of material. So you need to make sure you do as much practice as you need, then go to the quiz, but I'm giving you two attempts. So if you get, the first, if you get a question wrong, I'll give you another shot at it before you lose the points, okay? And then tests, though, which are going to be weekly and every Friday, you only have one attempt. So make sure that you really feel confident in what you're doing before you take that assessment. 
and let's go to Delta Math. Okay, well actually, in Google Classroom first, under the classwork section are steps. Before you can do what I'm about to do, you need to actually create a student account. Okay, if you need help with this, open up this document. Here's step-by-step -step instructions. Okay, step one, step two, step three, so on and so forth. Once you have an account, go to deltamath.com. And I created a student account, even though I have a teacher account, so that I can see what you're seeing. Okay, so here's what you will see. Oh, I gotta slow down. My password wasn't so long. There we go. So you can't see it, so I'm going to take myself off the screen. Um, but here are your upcoming assignments. And you can see I've already started the quiz. Okay? But you that's all I can see unless I scroll and scroll and scroll. So you can minimize all of these windows by just clicking on that blue part. Okay? Whoops. Laptop overlay. So I'm going to minimize all of them so you can see for the polynomials unit, everything is in there already. Okay? So um, you have your practice. Okay? There's four days of practice from Monday through Thursday because your test is Friday. And you have a couple quizzes. Make sure you complete the tasks and your checklist in order. Okay? So let me open polynomials practice three. I have one, two, three, four, five sections. And I have to answer eight questions out of each section. So I go to greatest common factor, factor the expression completely. If you need, you can click watch this help video. Okay, so you open up and other than my daily lesson video, you can open up this video um, and watch this for some additional help. You can also um, show an example on how to do it so it'll walk you through it. And I'm going to go back to the original problem. And your answer, so if I'm factoring the GCF is 3, set of parentheses, and then 10 plus x. Now, any exponent, you have to use the caret, which is in the number 6 button. Hit shift to raise that up to the exponent um, to the fifth power. Submit your answer. Are you sure you want to submit? Yes, and you'll get your feedback. So I got that question correct. So if I go back to that section, we can see that I've answered one out of eight correctly. And right now my grade is a 3%. Well, I want 100%. So I'm going to go and do the eight questions I need out of each section. And you can always do more. Okay, on the day of the quizzes, go in and do some more practice to refresh yourself. There's no penalty, right? Once you reach the 100%, you have the 100%. So all homework grades are an easy 100 and then on the days of your assessments, just do some more practice from the day before, right? Go back to that practice and do more examples so that when you get to the quiz, I know I'm giving you two attempts, but within those two attempts, you're getting the correct answer, okay? We cannot help you on assessments, quizzes, or tests. We can help you on your homework or practice. Again, I'm not calling it homework, but your practice assignments. We can help you as much as you need. So once again, I wanted to keep this short, so I'm going to stop here. If any questions or concerns, please reach out to either Mr. Hart or myself as soon as possible. I look forward to working with you. Uh, it's going to be casual. As you can see, I'm not dressed up. It's summer, so we can meet via Google Meets or Google Hangouts. You can send us a, a message saying you want to do a video chat through Hangouts. We can use our phones. We can use whatever mode necessary. But I can do some cool things at home as I have a studio. And I can, oops, <laughs> if I use the uh, software correctly or the technology, I can do some really cool things to help you. So I wish you the best. I look forward to working with you, and let's have a great summer. Take care.